How can I use an Excel spreadsheet to keep my accounting records? That is a question that I'm frequently asked by many new business clients who would rather use Excel than pay for expensive and often complicated accounting software. So please, just continue to watch this video and I will show you how. Let's take a quick look at your business records. You will receive invoices from your suppliers and you will raise sales invoices to your customers. Now over the course of a month you will also accumulate lots of other expenses. And finally towards the end of the month you should receive bank and credit card statements which record all of your monetary transactions. Now all of these transactions will need to be recorded individually and analysed. So you will need to record the date, then the transaction type such as bank receipt, and then you'll need to code or analyse the transaction. And finally, you'll need to record the gross amount. If your business is VAT registered, then you'll need to take note of a couple of extra items. These are the VAT rate and then the VAT value for the transaction. Finally, you'll need to record the net value, which is simply the gross value minus the VAT. Now, all of this information can be quickly and easily entered into our accounting spreadsheets. So let's take a look at this simple process. Let's open up the easy accounting spreadsheet and let's enter a simple transaction. So we'll select the date, which must be in the current month date range. And then from the transaction drop down box, we'll select bank receipt. A description is optional, so we'll put in ABC Limited, one of our customers, and then we'll analyse this receipt as sales of type A. We can give this a reference, and then we need to select the VAT rate from the VAT rate drop-down box, 20%, and we'll enter the gross amount of the transaction, £1,200. Press return, and the entire transaction is now recorded. VAT for the month is shown at the top of the page on the dashboard, as are the movements within the bank accounts. Quite simply, all of your transactions are very easy to see. We have now entered a month's worth of data into the Easy Accounting Spreadsheet, and can use this to highlight and explain the information given in the dashboard at the top of each monthly worksheet. The total VAT due for the month comprises the totals of all VAT transactions shown in the VAT column for the month. The totals for each column are also available in the filtered total section just above. Sales debtors for the month is the total of all sales invoices that you have raised to customers on credit terms, less any receipts that you have had from them to pay for those credit supplies. Similarly, the purchase creditors totals are the sum of all balances owed to your suppliers who have provided goods and services to you on credit terms. One important feature of our accounting spreadsheets is the bank accounts matrix at the top of each monthly worksheet, which record the starting balances for each of your four bank accounts, together with a summary of the month's receipts and payments and the closing values. At the foot of each monthly worksheet, we have a short profitability summary, highlighting your sales, cost of sales, gross profit, overheads, and profitability. Finally, a more detailed overview of your month's VAT inputs and outputs is shown in the table alongside the profitability section. So overall we have bank balances, profitability, VAT due and debtors and creditors all on one simple monthly worksheet. So the Easy Accounting Spreadsheet has 12 identical monthly worksheets. These worksheets collect all of your business data and as we shall see, they will provide you with the following essential reports. 
a month-by-month -month profitability report. A year at a glance consolidation of all of the months. They will prepare your quarterly VAT returns and easily create and send your MTD submission file and provide information and reports for your year end. So let's take a closer look at all of these. This is how your income and expenditure report looks like. You have one column for each of your 12 months and a consolidated total for the year. It separates your sales and cost of sales to give you your gross profit and then lists all of your business expense types together with their values spread across the whole year. At the bottom of the report, it shows the monthly values of your business expenses and provides you with your operating profitability. For ease of use, we have employed the coding analysis structure as used by HMRC. Although you enter and see all of your data on the individual monthly worksheets, we also provide a year-at-a-glance worksheet where data for the whole year can be viewed on one worksheet. Now, this is great for analysing your data across any of the headings for the year by simply using Excel's filtering facility. So, for example, let's say we would like to know how much we have paid an employee, Simon Finch, for the year. We use filtering to easily view the data. Reporting has never been so easy. Preparing and sending your quarterly VAT return and submitting it using MTD is very simple. Select the VAT quarters worksheet and enter the start and end dates for this return. As this period covers the first three months of the accounting year, we select month one from the first drop down box. This easy routine automatically collects the VAT data from the month one worksheet and populates the various VAT input and output boxes. You simply repeat the same process for months two and three. Occasionally, you may need to make adjustments to the figures. Simply enter the adjustment in the appropriate box or boxes and the return is updated. That's great. I can see how the monthly worksheets collate all the information necessary for me to complete my VAT returns. And I can see how easy that process is. But how do I now submit my VAT return to HMRC under the Making Tax Digital regime? Once you've finalised your quarter's VAT return and are ready to submit it to the bridging software for MTD purposes, then all you need do is click on the Create File for MTD for the relevant quarter. Once we have saved the information, then we simply close down the accounting spreadsheet programme. Now open up the MTD VAT Filer programme and just click on the Link Import Sheet button. Then locate your saved accounts file, select it and open it. Your data is then retrieved into the VAT Filer program. Now select the Submit button and you will be presented with your VAT Submission Summary form. Please check your entries and then scroll down to the bottom of the page and in the two orange boxes, you will need to enter your VAT filer username and password. Finally, click on the Submit VAT Return button to complete the process. At the end of the year, you can prepare various other reports and schedules, including a stock valuation report. You can also prepare a schedule of all of your fixed assets bought and sold in the year. And also a listing of your outstanding sales 
and purchase invoices at the year end. To make your accountant's life a bit easier, we also include a month-by-month -month trial balance and a CSV worksheet and notes on how to export the data. So once you're finished, simply send them a copy of your spreadsheet. How easy is that? So, to summarise, we've got 12 easy to use identical monthly worksheets that give you a great picture of your monthly accounts. And it provides you with all the essential reports you need. I think that should keep one or two people happy. So, what else is there to tell you? Well, first of all, our support is second to none for this type of product. And it's me, Mr. Spreadsheet, a practicing accountant who provides it. And as we now have over 6,000 downloads of our products, you can buy with complete confidence. But please don't take my word for it. Please review our testimonials on our homepage. And don't forget, if you have any questions, then just email me. Thank you and good luck. And please subscribe to our channel.